Hi, this video is going to talk about understanding ratios and proportions. So the learning goals for this video are to understand what ratios represent, to illustrate equivalent ratios with representations, and to represent and solve directly proportional relationships using proportions. So we're going to start with an example of a skateboard ramp. So um, a ratio is a comparison between two quantities. So um, we're going to look at just the ratio of um, the height to the base for this big one here. Um, so if we count the sticks, all right, um, the height has four sticks and the base has six sticks. So we can write a height to base ratio of four to six, and we write it using a colon here. Or we can write it as a fraction of four to six. Okay. Now let's take a look at this um, smaller ramp here. It has a height of 2 and a base of 3. So a height to base ratio for this smaller um, ramp could be written as 2 to 3 using a colon. Or you can write it as a fraction, 2 to 3. Now the interesting thing is that um, the ramps, if you take a look here, are as equally as steep. So if I grab my skateboard guy here and he's going down the ramp, notice that if I move them over to this ramp, okay, you notice that it's just as steep. Okay, wee. So um, by showing this, uh, the the fact that the ramps are the same steepness, okay, um, this means that the ratios of four to six and the ratio of two to three are what we call equivalent. Okay, so they're equivalent in this illustration. Okay, by showing that the ramps are the same steepness okay? and they show the same comparison. So um, we can look at other ratios that maybe are equivalent to two to three or four to six. You take, you notice that um, that the two is uh, half of four, right? And three is also half of six. Or you can think about the other way, that four is double two or six is double three. So we want to we can come up with other equivalent ratios not by adding anything okay but by using multiplication. So if we start with uh, a ratio of two to three, uh, let's say that we can multiply both numbers by five. Let's say, all right. So if we do that, okay, we can come up with a ratio of um, ten because that's two times five, and then uh, three times five is fifteen. So that would be an equivalent ratio. Uh, we could also use um, the other uh, ratio, let's say, because it's the same thing. Okay, we can multiply that by, nah, I don't know, I'm just going to pull a random number, by 7, let's say. So we can come up with uh, a new ratio of uh, 4 times 7 is 28, and 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, so all of these, these two uh, ratios are equivalent to 2 to 3 or four to six. Okay, and by using a multiplicative factor here, we're not we, we're not adding. Um, so uh, related to ratios is a proportion. So a proportion is a statement that's showing that two ratios are equivalent. So for instance, um, two to three, I'm going to write as a fraction, is um, equal to four to six. Okay, this is an example of a proportion because I'm showing them I'm showing that the two ratios are equivalent or equal to each other. Okay. So if we want the same ramp steepness, okay, so a ratio of two to three, we can write a proportion that can be used to determine the height if the base is twelve. So um, let's start with a ratio that is given to us. Okay, we're going to write a, a, an equivalent statement. Uh, with a base of 12. Now, the 2 here, okay, this number represents the height, right? And the bottom number represents the base. Now, that's very important because if we're going to write an equivalent ratio here, I have to include 12 at the bottom because the bottom number represents the base. So I would have to put a 12 here. Now, I don't know what that number would be, so I'm just going to write that as an x right now. Okay, so this is a proportion that we will later in another video use to figure out what the height would be for this. Okay, 
Um, let's write another proportion, okay, so that we get the hang of this. So that the um, rate of proportion that could be used to determine the base if the height is 10 meters. So again, let's start with um, the ratio that we know, okay, or that we want uh, equivalent. Okay, we're going to make that equal to a second ratio. Um, the height is 10. So again, the top number represents height. So I'm going to put this height of 10 up here in the numerator. And I don't know what the base is. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. We're going to figure that out later. But this is a, a, a proportion that we could use. Okay. Let's do the last one. So we want to write a proportion to determine the height if the base is 4.5. So again, I start with the given ratio or the known ratio. And I'm going to make it equal to another um, ratio. So the base is 4.5. So again, the base number is on the bottom. So you have to put 4.5 here on the bottom. And the height is a, a number I don't know yet. Okay, so this is a way of writing proportions. And I want to state, okay, that the order, okay, matters. Okay, and what I mean by that is that the base number in this example has to always be at the bottom and the height number always has to be on the top. Okay, so sometimes you'll get a variable with um, that's on the numerator, and sometimes you'll get it in the, in the denominator. It just depends on the situation or the question. Okay. So let's just go over some success criteria here. So you need to make sure that you understand that equivalent ratios involve a multiplicative relationship and not adding up subtracting. Uh, writing proportions shows that two ratios are equal, and we're going to be able to figure out what that unknown value is later. Um, to write proportions, we start with the known ratio, and that's important. Okay? That, that helps to anchor um, you know, your methods of solving a problem later on. Okay? So we start with the known ratio and then make it equal to an unknown ratio. Okay? And again, be careful with the order. It's very, very, very important. All right, so I'd like you to start, um, and this is a, an open-ended question. Um, I'd like you to write three ratios that are equivalent to 18 to 6, one of which much you must use larger numbers and one which uses smaller numbers. So you can create smaller numbers by um, using division. Oops. Okay. Because that's like the cousin of multiplication. So try to make um, three ratios. Okay. At least one of them has to be larger numbers. So you're going to use multiplication to do that. Multiplication. I'm going to write all over that. And the other one uses smaller numbers using division. So. Uh, pause the video, uh, give this a shot, and when you're ready uh, to check your work, press play. Okay, so let's uh, come up with some ratios that are equivalent to 18 to 6, but use larger numbers. Okay, so we could multiply by anything, okay? Uh, let's just multiply by 2. So an, um, an equivalent ratio would be 36 to 12. Okay. Um, Let's do another bigger one, right? You can multiply by any number. Okay, you multiply by uh, 3. Why not? Okay. And that's equal to, uh, ooh, I think that's 54 to 18. Okay, that's an equivalent ratio. You can multiply by 4, 5, 6, whatever. Okay. Um, let's uh, make one using smaller numbers. So again, we can start with 18 to 6. Now we just have to divide by a number. Okay, and that doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just pick 2. Okay, we're going to divide both numbers by 2, and we get um, 9 to 3. So that is an equivalent ratio as well to 18 to 6. Okay. So you just have to either multiply or divide by the same number. Um, let's uh, practice writing proportions. So the question here is that the leaders, sorry, the ratio of leaders to campers at a summer camp must be 3 to 10. So that's 3 leaders to every 10 campers. So you're going to write proportions that can be used to determine the number of leaders if there are 50 campers and the number of campers if there are 8 leaders. So again, you're going to start with the known ratio and then make it equal to an unknown. So pause the video, give it a shot, and press play when you're ready. All right, let's start with the um, known ratio here. Okay, so the known ratio is 3 to 10. We're going to make it equal to, now 50 is in the campers, right? So the second number, according to the wording of this ratio, the 10 is the campers. So 
the bottom number represents campers so I'm going to put the 50 campers on the bottom of the second ratio and I don't know how many liters there are so I'm going to put X. Similarly I start with 3 to 10 on the bottom here and then um, there are 8 liters so the number 8 is in the numerator and the number of campers I don't know so we put that on the bottom. Okay so just to sum things up the ratios are used to compare two quantities in this case uh, in the very beginning we had height to base of a skate, uh, skateboard ramp. Equivalent ratios represent the same comparison okay? and proportions are statements that show that two ratios are equivalent and that's very important that's one of the things that you're going to need to be able to solve um, and you can watch that in the next or in another video of solving proportions. Um, so I hope uh, that you have a good understanding of um, how to write ratios and how to write proportions. Um, so thanks for watching and best of luck.